Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with C-Sec. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we know more, it's a huge risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes, that did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you. They said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Guess we're back on the clock. Looks that way. Those mercenaries aren't wasting any time. Okay. Ideas on where to start with these guys? Maybe. That pistol you picked up... For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the hour is on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard? Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. What's up, Commander? Back there in my pilgrimage, I used to walk around near that sushi place and watch the fish through the window. I knew they'd never let me inside, but I think to myself, someday, when I've proven my worth to the galaxy, I'll go there for dinner. And then, you broke their floor. Do they even have food you can eat there? Not the point, Shepard. Hey. Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Hey, Shepard. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to... fish. Hello, Shepard. Nothing beats having a Krogan bodyguard, huh? Had a buddy like that once. Uh, no, not so much a buddy, really. More of a prisoner who helped us. <laughs> it, it's a long story, man. Anyway, Brooke, she's kind of cute. Think she's on the market? I'm glad you made it out of that ambush, okay? None of us saw that coming. But lesson learned. Never have dinner with Joker. It won't end well. So, what was it, Shepard? Five minutes before someone started shooting at you? On the other hand, we get this cool secret hideout to hang out in. Unless the bad guys look in the window.
Bet you never saw a shuttle get taken down like that before. <laughs> I still got it. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually... Oh, right. We never did. <laughs> you are a trailblazer. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. I am compiling data on the gun for Dr. Tassoni. She should have the result. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan, out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, Art. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No, but the truth is boring. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast ferron leg. I suspect my suit's built-in tech would be picked up by security sensors. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a chorus back at op end, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. 
But I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required.